What's good everyone? It's 23MJ88 back with another video today. And for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the Georgetown colorway. All right, so we're just gonna start things off with the box. As you can see here, this is inverse from the High OGs. This does have the red box with the black Nike logo. And the size tag reads Air Jordan 1 High 85, as you can see here and the colorway being College Navy and Summit White. All right, just to get things started real quick on the Air Jordan 1 High 85s, we'll have a quick overview of the shoe. You do have that College Navy and the gray hits around it. The tongue is kind of like a vintage. They did use yellow foam on the inside. This tongue, this uh, nylon is white but the yellow foam kind of peeks through it, as you can see here. I do really enjoy that look. You do have the Nike Air at the top. And this is actually a sample from back in 85. It said Hoyas on the side, and it just said Nike with a swoosh. It did not have the Air. I will insert a photo right here of that pair from 85 but I think Jordan Brand really knocked it out of the park with these. The shape is absolutely fantastic. The materials are pretty good. It's a really thick leather and a pretty raw cut as you can see here. So it will take a little bit of time to break in, but again, you have that navy swoosh. Here's a look at the back of the shoe and the medial side as well. And then the bottom being navy blue, and it is a kind of a slimmer mold on the bottom. I will kind of show you later a comparison of the high 85 and the OGs, but this is just a quick look of the right shoe. And on the left shoe, your pairs should come from factory with this hang tag that does have the Jumpman logo on the front. And pause it now if you guys want to read all of this, but there's kind of a description here on the Air Jordan 1 and the aerosol unit in the heel. And then on the back, it just says Nike. And then they also should come with some navy laces. But again, I just think this is a really clean colorway. I'm actually really stoked that uh, Jordan Brand brought these out. I did grab a couple pairs of these because it's just a colorway that I think um, I'll get a lot of use out of. So once I run through a pair, I'll uh, definitely break out a fresh pair. But again, just a quick look. I really enjoy this high 85 mold. I really prefer it over the uh, Air Jordan 1 OG. And just a quick note as well, your shoes should come wrapped in this white paper individually. So there's this white paper that comes in the box and this will wrap your shoes. Obviously, I no longer have them wrapped. And I just wanna give you guys a quick look at a pair that I've already, actually I haven't worn this pair, but I have them laced up ready to go. And it has some cream laces in here from Foxtrot. As you can see here, they do match the tongue quite nice. So I think that's a pretty clean look. So I will be wearing this pair with these laces in there. And then also on the shoes on the inside, you'll have this sizing info. And I think manufacturing info as well. So it says 10 and a half. 2021-0808, I'm assuming August 8th, and then it says XC. And then inside the shoe, I'll pull this spring-loaded shoe tree out. You do have a sample tag on the inside of the shoe, as you can see here. And then this one, let's see if I can pull it out real quick. Uh, on the lid of the box for the pair that I'll be wearing, here is the sample tag. I kind of just stuck it on the top. It says Air Jordan. It has the code, the patent, the last, the mold, the size, the color, navy, gray, and white. And then for the date, a lot of people were confused as it says 82, March 29th, 82. And that is actually the date of when Jordan hit the shot over Georgetown. And uh, yeah, that's from the date when uh, he kind of became a household name in my opinion. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in this colorway with the Georgetown colors. Um, again, I just think it's a really clean colorway. It's pretty much gonna go with everything. And I actually really do like kind of that vintage tongue. I know some people are 
kind of using those Foxtrot markers on the midsole to do kind of a vintage look. I think Vintage Kicks Gallery already did his pair, but I'm kind of contemplating it, but I think I'll just start wearing these and enjoying them as is. But here's another quick look. They do come with gray laces here, kind of on the bottom, and then the blue ones inside, like I mentioned. All right, so quickly, I wanted to give you guys a quick look of all the other colorways I have of the Air Jordan 1 High 85s. And I actually do have all four colorways. As you can see here on the bottom left, I do have the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the neutral gray, or also known as the natural gray back in 85. So I also have some natural gray uh, Foxtrot laces in here. It's more of, of the 85 look. So here's a quick look of this pair. This is definitely my most worn pair. I think I have four pairs of these right now, and I've worn this pair probably for 300 hours in total. And I really enjoy the shape as well, as you can see the slanted toe box, definitely reminiscent of the 1985 pairs. And then on the bottom right, I have the New Beginnings pair, the white and red. This is actually a PE that Michael Jordan did wear in 1985. And uh, these came out in the New Beginnings pack with the um, Nike Airship. And I do have two of these packs. So I do have one that's kind of just sitting right now, but this is the pair that I wear. It does say Nike Air on the tongue, in white and red. And then again, I've got some Foxtrot laces in here. It's definitely more of that 1985 look. So that's the white and red pair, the PE pair. And then we have, and that came out in 2020 All-Star Weekend. This also came out in 2020 All-Star Weekend. And I believe there was 23,000 pairs of these in the black and red in the high 85. Again, people call these the reverse breads, but the toe and the eye stay is really the only thing that's reversed, but I just call them the varsity reds and I really enjoy this colorway. I think this is very clean and easily could have been a shoe from 1985. So that's a quick look at the black and varsity red pair. And then the newest addition being the Georgetowns. I'll give you guys one last look. And these do have the cream laces in there from Foxtrot as well. Another thing I did want to mention is I do hear a lot of people kind of crapping on the leather on the high 85s, saying it's raw and super stiff. And that is because it's an actual real leather. And yeah, it is a little bit stiff directly out of the box, but once you wear these, they become super comfortable. And as you can see here on the Air Jordan 1 neutral grays, I've worn these about 300 hours. The leather becomes super soft, as you can see here and it really molds your foot. This is actually way better than the leather that they're putting on the Air Jordan 1 High OGs, in my opinion, because it's a lot closer to the 1985 pairs, and it's a lot thicker, and it's gonna last a lot longer as well. And as you can see here, it does become really soft and supple once you do wear them a lot. So it just takes some break in time. So get these on feet, wear them for a week straight, and trust me, you will enjoy them. Also, I did want to give you guys a quick look of a comparison on a OG pair, which really has nothing to do with anything to do with the originals, honestly. And then the high 85, which is very reminiscent of the 1985 pairs. So starting with the box, that's where the first different slides, as you can see here, uh, the box is black and here it's inverse with red. And then the swoosh and Nike logo are red on the OG and just black on the I-85s. There's a size tag for the Brotherhood pair and a size tag for the I-85s. And then in the box, you get this paper that has a Wings logo on it and a 23 and a jump end. It's kind of like a wax paper. And then on the Air Jordan 1, Hi OG, you just get some white tissue paper in the box. All right, so really quickly, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look on the differences from the High 85 Retro from Jordan Brand versus the Air Jordan 1 High OG. And I know this is the Brotherhood colorway, not really a colorway that I'm in love with, it's not bad, but I just wanted to detail the differences between the two molds and models. All right, so starting things off for the comparison from the high 85 and the high OGs, it actually does start on the bottom of the shoe. As you can see here, 
the width of the forefoot is a lot more narrow on the high 85s versus the high OGs. And it's just a narrower fitting shoe all the way around. And then actually on the midsole, it does have that original texture from 85. And it kind of has a little hump here in the midfoot. Definitely reminiscent of the 1985 pairs. Whereas the high OGs, it's kind of a more flat texture. And the midsole just kind of goes straight all the way across, as you can see here. But this texture is just a lot more flat versus the high OGs being a lot more textured. And then the Wings logo on the OGs is kind of debossed. So everywhere this is imprinted and has the paint, the high 85s is the opposite. So the Wings logo actually is kind of embossed where this is debossed. And that's another difference between the high OGs and the high 85s. Another difference between the two shoes, as I already stated, is the leather. This is a lot thicker and a lot more stiff. It does take time to break in. Whereas on the high OGs, it is very textured and a lot softer and has pretty much no break in time. So a lot of people like these because they are comfier right out of the box. But as far as the materials and how they're gonna last, in my opinion, this is gonna last and age a lot better than the high OGs. And then another difference is the tongue on the high OGs. I find it to be very puffy and it doesn't sit quite as high. It pretty much sits right at the ankle collar, as you can see here. Whereas on the high 85s, the tongue does sit higher than the ankle collar. So it is a higher tongue and it's not quite as puffy as the high OGs. And then another difference would be the back of the shoe. As you can see this one, it is kind of slanted and curved, kind of like this, whereas this one is a lot more straight up and down in the back. And then the high 85s actually have that stamped logo on the inside, as you can see here in white. And then the high OGs don't have that. They just have the size tag logo just on the inside of the shoe. So there's another difference. And then as well, the swoosh on the high OGs is a lot smaller. Whereas on the high 85s, it's a larger swoosh and more pronounced, as you can see. It's just a bigger swoosh all the way around. And then as well, the insole on the high 85s, it is a pretty thick polyurethane insole. And then on the high OGs, it is of the memory foam style. So as you can see here, it's very thin and this is gonna compress very quick versus the polyurethane. It actually has some arch here and then it's very thick as you can see here and it offers a lot of step in comfort and it's just gonna last a lot longer. And then this one here, you can pretty much just fold up. Like it's, it's paper thin. This is pretty much nothing. I would probably swap those out if I was honestly telling you the truth versus these being a lot thicker and a lot more comfortable, a lot more pronounced as you can see here. So I definitely prefer the polyurethane insole on the Air Jordan 1 high 85s. And then another difference between the shoe two shoes is on the high OGs. It just kind of has your standard strobel board on the inside as you can see here so there's not a lot of torsional rigidity or anything it's pretty flimsy as you can see and then on the air jordan 1 high 85s it is board lasted so it is kind of like a cardboard and back in 1985 this did serve as the torsional rigidity for the shoe as you can see here it's a lot more stiff and it's going to take some time to break in so I'm really happy that they did add that back in the shoe for the high 85s. But again, that's gonna be it for the Air Jordan 1 high 85 first look. Uh, let me know down in the comments, are you guys gonna be going after these April 2nd? They are gonna cost 200 US dollars or 265 here in Canada. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are gonna be going after a pair of these. I think this is definitely a must grab and I'm happy that I have a couple pairs. But let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite high 85 model? Is it the Georgetowns or is it the 
Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the Black Varsity Red. The Neutral Grays, which is definitely wearable with pretty much everything. Or is it the highly sought after Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the New Beginnings colorway, which was a PE from 1985 as well. So let me know down in the comments which pair is your favorite. I would probably have to say the Neutral Grays are definitely my favorite because you can pretty much wear them with anything. But again, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite out of the four. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that helps the channel out a ton. Stick around for the on foot portion at the end of the video for the Air Jordan 1 High 85s. And until next time, peace. Try and get grip, but it don't make sense Cause you can lose life on this fast route